What's up everyone, this is Mo Gaming here, and today I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 error code SU-30746-0. So I just got this error on the PlayStation 4 7.55 update, and you may have gotten it as well as you were doing the latest update, so I'm going to kind of show you how to do the fix for this update. Now, to basically start off, like if you haven't already, you should know there is a PlayStation 5 update that is, oh, PlayStation 4, sorry, <laughs> update that is now available that you can go in and do. And it's not a crazy update, it's just a system, uh, like a process improvement update. So nothing crazy, it's only half a gig. Uh, so it doesn't really do too much on the PlayStation itself. But certain people, such as myself as well, have had now issues with this update. So the first thing is, and on how I basically got it fixed, is um, as you can just to give you a perspective, it does say like system installed. So the first thing you're actually going to do is, if you're obviously within this issue and you can't even turn on your PlayStation 4 because you got that error, uh, you're, I'm assuming your PlayStation 4 is going to be turned off. Uh, if it's not and it's not installing, I'm actually going to show you what you need to do to get it installed. So first, we're going to completely shut off the PlayStation 4. Um, we're just going to wait for it to shut off and we're actually going to go into the safe mode, which is why I am turning it off. Um, I'm looking at the side of the PlayStation 4 the white screen is still like flashing. You can probably see it on the screen. See, it's still flashing. <laughs> so I'm actually waiting for that to turn off completely so I can do next step. Okay, perfect, it's off. So what you're going to do next is you're actually going to hold the PlayStation power button for about five to 10 seconds until you hear two beeps. So we heard beep number one and we're gonna wait until we hear beep number two. We heard beep number two. We're now going to step back and we're going to basically wait for it to enter into safe mode. So one thing is to enter into safe mode, you need your wire connected to the PlayStation 4 and to your controller. Otherwise, it's not going to work. If you don't have an authentic wire, I have a, a, I'll leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out to basically be able to do this. So once you're in here, the first thing you're gonna try to do, which is one of the easier ways, is rebuild your database. There's a possibility that your database got corrupted and it did basically just ended up not working due to that factor. So definitely you're going to do that. Uh, if this works and your error goes away and then you can either one, it installs your update or two, it basically, let's just say either it installs your update or two, you can install it and like, and then you try it and it installs. Great. This is the, this is your <laughs> code to thing. Always try to rebuild your database because this fixes any corruption in the data right there in, and then in time. Uh, what you're going to do next is, if that doesn't work, you can do a couple of things. You can update your PlayStation 4 directly from the, the, the safe mode itself. So you can do it from a disk, which I don't know if anyone does. You can do it from a USB storage device, um, and you can do it using the internet as well. For me, it's not going to work now because I already have the latest update. I mean, it, can, it will download the file and it will try to do it. As you can see over here, I'm just going to cancel it. But you can try this method and give this a shot. If this doesn't work, which could be the reason why it's kind of giving you an error, because you're doing it from the internet, you're going to try to do update from USB device. Currently, I do not have one connected, but I have tutorials on how you can do this. And I will leave a link for this in the description below for you guys to basically update it through a USB device. This should be your second step if the internet one doesn't work. So <laughs> always try rebuilding your database first. Obviously that doesn't work. Try to update it directly from here, from the internet section. If that doesn't work, try the USB method. Now, if that fails as well, <coughs> what you're gonna have to do is, you're gonna have to most likely do step seven. You can try step six, which is going to delete everything on your PlayStation 4. Uh, as you can see, it'll del delete everything and all data will be deleted and you can try this, but not all the time the sense of fixing it because that initial reinitialization is not going to actually work for you. You're gonna have to do step seven basically, which is to reinstall the software, but you need a USB device for this. I actually have a video on this as well, which I will leave a li link in the description below. Very easy, very straightforward to follow. And you can follow that step by step and you should be good to go. Once you do all those steps, you should be good to go and then you should be able to have your latest version installed. Now, if you guys are basically, I'm assuming watching this video after you did it and got the error, I apologize. PlayStation sucks. I'm apologizing on their behalf. They don't pay me this for this, but they do suck at certain times because of situations like these are what's causing these errors. Because sadly enough, they these errors usually end up kicking in afterwards. People don't realize it because they just downloaded it. The data got corrupted, and, and like I, I recall in 7.51, I didn't really make a video. I sh at that time, I don't believe I had the channel, or maybe I wasn't aware. But there was a lot of errors that happened, such as these as well at that time. Which basically, a lot of people did the update. One, they couldn't even update. They couldn't leave the safe mode screen, though, so they were stuck in a safe mode loop, which I've also made a video on if you guys want to ever check that out. They were stuck in the loop, 
or they just could not get back past the next screen. So the, again, PlayStation kind of does suck with these updates sometimes, and these errors do, to a certain degree, frequently do occur. Um, one of the other things that you can do, um, obviously, if the, like I mentioned, if those d d work for you, you should be then good to go. Like tr just, just trust, definitely, if you're stuck in the loop, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description for you to how to get out of the loop. But those things I actually mentioned should be good enough. If you just restart your PS4 in general from the loop as well, that may help. That could be a possibility. Like I said, I couldn't. I just rebuilt the database. It just, boom, brought me to this screen then, like to my normal home screen. And as you can see, it says it was installed. Everything is good to go. I don't think I can do anything with it. But <laughs> everything was then good to go. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was basically all i do hope this video was helpful and informative for you guys if you have any other questions and you are stuck on something else please let me know in the comment section below more than happy to help you guys out uh if you have um if you have any other errors that are happening or if you're still stuck on this one just let me know if you overall found this content helpful and informative please smash the like button just you smash the like button <laughs> helps a lot and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell other than that mo gaming out peace